Hey guys, it's Max C2. I made a joke cooking video not that long ago, bro. Um, and so now I'm gonna make a real one, I guess. Uh, I've decided on making dinner for this uh, evening. And um, I've decided I'm gonna make like a breakfast mac and cheese. Um, my original plan was burgers, but they didn't have burgers when I went to the grocery store. Like, pre-cooked burgers. They had, like, pound of ground beef, but it was expensive. So I didn't do that. Um, doing a bunch of things. This is the potatoes. I'm not doing those yet. So we're gonna come on over here. I'm gonna start with the mac and cheese. Um, and hope that enough water fits in this. So it needs both boxes need six cups of water. So we're gonna, I don't know that it'll fit in this pot. This is a, this is a test. I don't think it will. So yeah, I'm not thinking it will. So I'm gonna use this bigger pot here that I have. I was hoping to not have to use this one because I was gonna use this as like a final combination pot. I'm gonna bind everything in at the end, but it looks as though I need to because I'm not gonna fit 12 cups of water in this one, it's too small. So I'll have to salt the water and put the lid on the pot because otherwise it won't boil ever. So, All right, so I'm doing two boxes of mac and cheese. They each need six cups of water. So I'm just gonna do 12 cups because I'm gonna do them both at the same time. Throw some salt in here to start with off the beginning. I mean, that's probably enough salt. Um, I really don't know how to cook. Cooking is a new thing that in, in my life. So that is about 12 cups of water. So we're gonna front start that boiling. Now, while this is doing a boil, I think I'm gonna start on the sausage. I just bought some uh, tube sausage. It doesn't really matter what it is. Let's turn this on high. So we're gonna just put that on there. Um, I don't care to get the rest of that out of there. Get the wooden spoon. Probably gonna toss a little bit of this vegetable oil in there. I don't know how cooking works. And since I'm using an electric stove, this is uh, really slow. So keep that in mind. I feel like I've mentioned it, but uh, I don't know how to cook really I um, I've been sort of teaching myself this is like the eighth time I've cooked a meal or something and I just sort of been stepping it up each time last time was a soup um, I made a soup from scratch um, and the time before that I had to make burger for like a hamburger helper so I figured I'd uh, kind of step it up do something a little more complex like cooking, you know, multiple things at once. I'm gonna learn, you know, I'm gonna figure it out. There probably isn't much time left on this sausage. So right now I am sort of focusing on getting this into small pieces while it cooks. I'm gonna put the mac and cheese in, or the noodles in now. So that it doesn't take as long. I'm using Kraft macaroni and cheese because the uh, store does not have, the grocery store here on campus does not have uh, like cheese sauce and stuff for me to make mac and cheese from scratch. Let's give this a little stir around. Looks like this is coming into a point where I should put it on low. While I wait for that to boil, I'm gonna come over here with the 
knife to cut some of these potatoes. So you uh, want to keep an eye on, I'm going to put the potatoes in this spooky bowl here because uh, I bought it, but I'm going to start with them off the cutting board for space. So I'm just going to cut them like this and then cut them smaller afterwards. You could also probably peel the potatoes, but doesn't bother me to have the skins on. I'm just gonna try to make the chunks smaller. That's a bit big, but you know, something that are smaller. And then I'll put them in here for, until I'm ready to cook them. Obviously, if you're gonna do this recipe yourself, which I don't know if I recommend. We'll find out if it's actually good at the end. But if you're gonna do it yourself, um, be careful with the knife, be careful with the stove, you know, general, typical warnings. Kind of a big piece, so I'm gonna cut that into like four. These are a little bigger chunks of then, but that's sort of why I'm doing four potatoes, so that I have sort of, kind of, not sort of, kind of, so that I have plenty. I might cut these again, because they're a little big. I'm gonna check on the water that's boiling over here. Nothing yet, so we're gonna keep cutting through some potatoes. I don't know if a paring knife is the best knife to be using in this situation, but I will probably find out when I show this to friends who do cook. So, uh, water's still not boiling. Sausage is still doing fine over there. So we're gonna start on potato number three. Cut these ones in half again. Potato number three, let me check on the water, see if it's boiling yet. Nope, not quite. And we'll stir on this sausage once more. The water might not be boiling, but I'm gonna, so I'm gonna come over here and finish the potato, and then we'll go back over there for the, uh, Check on the, to check on the noodles and see if they're soft enough. Because the water may not be boiling, but the noodles might be fine. So for the soup that I made last week, I had only one potato because it was part of the soup, and so it had to sort of mesh with the rest of it. But because these potatoes aren't going to be in the mac and cheese, but as a side to the mac and cheese, I've decided that I'm going to just get enough of them so I can make like home fries or something. All right, so potatoes are cut. I'm gonna clean off my hands. I'm gonna come back over to the stove. All right, so back at the stove. Um, I've not been stirring these noodles like I should be. And this pot is way heavy for this uh, slanted uh, burner. But it looks like yeah, these noodles are probably done. Probably strain these before they get worse. And I'll just cut off the burner for the moment. I'll come over here to the sink and we will strain these noodles. So they're strained. And we'll dump them in here. Dump them back in. I don't think this is gonna be my best uh, pasta ever. Like I said, I'm making, I'm just making it with Kraft mac and cheese. So you will certainly, pro you will certainly have a better um, macaroni and cheese if you make it yourself. So from here, I want to put in the butter. 
and the milk. So we'll start with the milk. And because I'm doing two boxes, it'll be a half cup of milk. About a half cup. Pour that in there. And then it wants four tablespoons of margarine or butter. Yeah. So since I'm making two boxes, um, I'm gonna use the whole stick because that's the eight tablespoons. And just toss it in there. We'll turn the thing back on high because it doesn't really matter what this says. Um, it needs to be on high. And then finally, I'll put in the cheese packets of the powder sauce. Again, um, this is because they do not have cheese sauces at the grocery store here on campus. And so uh, I could not make a homemade mac and cheese. They only have red sauce on here. And so it might take a minute because uh, the I turned the burner off for like the butter to melt and all that. But I'll get this all stirred up. I feel like it might need more milk. So I'm gonna just put a little more in there. And then I'll put the milk away so that I'm not, um, so that I'm not tempted to do that more. And then once this is all mixed up and getting cooking, I'm gonna dump the, I'm gonna actually turn this back up a little bit, stir it around. And then we will be putting this into here once this is ready. And then I will probably move this to the back burner. All right, that butter is basically gone. So I'm going to take the uh, sausage. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the sausage and I'm gonna slide it on in here. Cause uh, it looks overall pretty cooked, and it will be cooking more in the mac and cheese. So. It doesn't really matter. So now I got all the sausage mixed into this mac and cheese. And we're, you know, there's step, steps one and two. Bingo, bango, donezo. Now I'm gonna turn this burner off for now. I think I'm gonna move this here and then turn that one off and turn this one on like three in the back there so that I can keep this stuff warm. Next is we're gonna make um, the bacon. Now, I think I'm just gonna toss this whole thing of bacon in here. Um, and then I will use whatever. So I've never cooked bacon before, so we're gonna figure this out. And now I guess I just really gotta wait and see and honestly, I ain't cooked eggs before. I haven't cooked eggs before, so I don't really know what I'm doing there. But I think I'm gonna just cook the eggs in another skillet. And so while the bacon's going, while I'm doing the bacon, I'm gonna pull out my smaller skillet and cook eggs over here. I'm cooking everything on high because uh, this is a sucky stove. Now, I don't know how many eggs I need here, so. I'm going to just do one at a time. Making um, scrambled. So we'll see how that goes. Oof, that was, uh, got an eggshell in there. Just one, you know. Just gonna toss this in the trash over here. That was not a very good egg crack. I'm gonna beat these eggs. This probably isn't how you make scrambled eggs. Um, 
I don't have a lot of utensils. I don't really have a lot of uh, anything. I've never cooked eggs before, so I don't know what I'm doing here. This may or may not turn out as scrambled eggs. I think I might want to put some uh, seasoning in the eggs. So, so I'm gonna pull out my seasonings now. I also want to put cheese in the eggs. Um, I'm gonna go with putting in some celery salt and some onion powder for start. I don't really have a lot of seasonings, so I don't want to go overboard. Let's see, I have this like multi-seasoning thing. I think I'm gonna put some of this sun-dried tomato basil in it as well. And then from there, I'm gonna take, I have some shredded cheese. I'm gonna put shredded cheese in the eggs. Now, this is going into the mac and cheese, so this is a little bit excessive. There's gonna be a lot of cheese in this dish, I'm sort of realizing, because I wanna also put it on the potatoes. But. Now, I'm gonna stir this up. I'm gonna check out this bacon. This bacon seems to be going slow. It's not quite done. I want some, like, like I think I mentioned, I want crispy bacon. Looks like the eggs are getting a little close there. Close to done. They're definitely com coming around and congealing into egg. I think I might do more eggs. I might do four more eggs. I'm not sure. Um, so it looks like these eggs are probably done. So I'm going to take these eggs and dump them into the pot of all the done things, all the finished things. And we'll pop that off for the moment. Dump that in there. All right, the eggs look like it's probably enough eggs. Um, this is a mac and cheese. This is a breakfast mac and cheese, not, you know. So these uh, should not be overpowering elements. Flip these bacon pieces over again. This still isn't as crispy as I would like. So looks like the bacon's getting close. So I'm gonna take these, uh, take some napkins over here because I don't have any more paper towels. Like this one looks like it's probably done. This one's probably done. This one's not quite, I think this is the thicker one. I'll flip that over and get the other side. I'm actually gonna call it on the bacon. I said I was gonna cook it all, but I'll probably do that later. So we're gonna get these uh, pieces of bacon finished up. Put this in here. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this out now. This bacon out. Because I wanna get onto the potatoes. We got the bacon right there on the plate. I'll let that sit for a second, cool down a little bit so I can handle it. And we're gonna move on to the uh, potatoes. So I'm just gonna dump them all in. Now, while that's doing that, in the background here, I'm just gonna dump these, uh, toss these pieces of bacon in there. They've hardened up just about how I want them. And we're gonna crush them up into the mac and cheese. Now the mac and cheese is actually done. It could probably use a little more bacon, but I also want the bacon to be a, a bit of a texture rather than a a main flavor. Like I said, with the eggs, like this is a macaroni and cheese, not, you know, a egg dish or a sausage dish or a bacon dish. The bacon and sausage are guests. And I probably let these potatoes sit a little long. They, you can see they, you might be able to see that they're a weird color now from sitting cut open, but that's fine. I'm gonna dump in rosemary and garlic because I really like that seasoning that they have in here. The rosemary and garlic I like a lot. I'm gonna dump in this roasted garlic and cheese. It's a little too much, a little, it's a, it's a lot of garlic, so I'm probably, these all have garlic in them, so I'm probably not gonna use more than those two. And then I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna dump this uh, basil in. And 
And then we're also gonna dump in the celery salt and the onion powder, like I had in the, uh, like I had in the uh, eggs. You know, it'll give them a good seasoning. I don't have a lot of seasonings. The only other seasoning I have, oh, pepper. I could definitely throw some pepper in here. I could have put pepper in the eggs. I totally forgot about the pepper. And so. I don't know how well this is gonna work to cook this. Um, this went better in my head. I probably should have did uh, less. I should probably should have done a little bit at a time. But, uh, yeah, because that'll probably that would probably help me uh, get it all sort of evenly cooked rather than. And when I'm done with this, I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know what I think. And you know, assess maybe try and assess what I did wrong. And when I'm done with this, I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know what I think. And you know, assess maybe try and assess what I did wrong. I would like these potatoes to get softer, but we'll see how well that goes. That might not be a characteristic of making potatoes this way. As I said, I'm pretty pretty novice at this. This is very much like throwing myself in head first. So We'll see how this goes. These potatoes smell good so far though, so that's always good. Some of this stuff looks done, or at least getting done, and other stuff does not. So, probably go for a little while longer. In the meantime, let's uh, start doing some plate stuff. I only have red and blue colored plates, so I don't have anything fancy, but we're gonna For a drink, I'm pairing this with orange juice. This happens to be Tropicana because the because I like orange juice without pulp. But honest, honestly, just get an orange juice you like. But I'm gonna pour myself pour a uh, large glass of orange juice to go with this. I have smaller cups, but I feel like this meal this uh, meal deserves a large one. And so we'll come over here to plate it when it is done. Now back over here. We are still making our way, cooking the potatoes. They seem to be getting closer and closer. I guess I can take a fork to one of these and try it out. But they're also gonna be way too hot to eat, so. I think there might be, they might be undercooked still. But yeah, they're still undercooked. So I will let them go for longer. All right, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try another potato. I've been quiet for a minute, but you know, I'm trying another potato. Seems like it's probably still gonna be way too hard. You know, it's not as bad as the last one, but it's still a little too much. We're gonna, you know what? I might just call it, this might just be done. So I'm gonna call it here, turn it off, let it, that's the wrong one, I'm gonna turn this off and let it sizzle down. And while that's sizzling down, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start plating. So there's the plate there. We're gonna bring the pot over. We're gonna just get this on here. Looks like the bacon pieces might not have broken up as much as I would have liked. 
but honestly, I'd say this looks like a mac and cheese, you know. We'll find out how it tastes when you get there. But for now, I'm just gonna start, I'm just starting the uh, plating. So the camera stopped recording in the middle of me putting the potatoes on, but they're there on the plate now. We're gonna come over. All right, so uh, we're gonna move over to the table now that I've got it plated and we're gonna see how this turns out. All right, here we are with the uh, food all done now. Hopefully it's still warm. I'm gonna try the uh, breakfast mac and cheese first. It's pretty good, actually. It's not warm anymore. I didn't do a very good job of keeping it warm, I guess. So it's not still warm. So keep that in mind. You might want to start the potatoes earlier. Even do the potatoes first. While it looks sort of just like a mac and cheese, maybe. Or a casserole of some kind. It doesn't like taste like a breakfast food. It tastes good. But it's missing something. Probably needs more eggs. Now as for the potatoes, they're most likely undercooked still. Mm. The potatoes are still, potatoes are still undercooked. It's not the worst thing. They're not like really undercooked, but they're a little hard. They're a little, they're not as soft as I would have liked them to be. It doesn't seem that um, the baking really got mixed around in here, but overall it's pretty good for a uh, random thing I threw together. It wasn't even really work. I wasn't working off a recipe or anything. I just, I just threw stuff together. But uh, for being sort of wholly made up, it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good concept that would probably be made better by a, you know, more skilled cook. Um, so that's the, the final word on this thing I made today. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the unedited hour and a half version of this, um, it's over an hour and a half, um, then uh, you can get that by being at least a $1 tier patron on my Patreon. So check that out. Um, Feel free to make this dish and tell me how it turned out for you. Um, like I said, uh, this would have been better if I could have got the potatoes to cook through the way, if I would have made more eggs and more bacon. But like using this uh, electric stove, it's, uh, it t just takes forever. And so rather than, rather than take forever and ever and ever to get stuff done, I figured I'd just, uh, Take what I got. What I got is pretty good. So, like I said, thank you for watching. I will see you uh, next time. Bye.